Carol, we'll start off with, a, 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 I guess, what is a real honour for you and sitting here as the Leeds Rhinos captain? Yeah, it's crazy, mate. Um, you know, it's probably only sunk in these last couple of weeks that um, yeah, yeah, I've been a, I've been announced the captain. Um, you know, it's a really proud uh, day for my family and um, not trying to think into it too much and uh, nothing really changes for me. Um, you know, from a personal level, um, I just want to encourage other people to, to lead in the team. Obviously, you've been at the club for quite a long time. Was it something that you ever thought was a possibility? Uh, I've always wanted to be a captain as a, as a kid. Um, uh, I love people, so like I've tried to build as good as a connection with everybody as possible. So I think that's my, uh, my best attribute uh, in terms of being a leader. So, um, you know, I've always wanted to, to, to lead the team and to do it for such a big club. and a club with so much history and prestige and um, you know I'm very grateful. Have you have you thought about how you might kind of adapt your, your leadership style or how are you going to kind of change little things as captain or are you going to try and keep it as, as simple and as, as the same as it was? Yeah just keep it as simple and the same like you said um, you know it's I think it's really easy to try and change and, and try find something else that um, would better the team with the C next to your name but um, for me mate it's just it's just the same as what I've been doing. Uh, when you look at the sort of the players around you, especially some of the lads that have come in, Andy Ackers, Brody Croft, plenty of experience and talent there. That must help you as a as a captain to organise the team around you. Yeah, definitely, and um, you know it gives me an opportunity to probably take a step back and not take as much ownership on on trying to do everything. Um, you know, I love to have a lot of involvements in the team, but um, now we've got tons of players, yeah, you know, in in positions that are, are important with you know that that much flair um, that I can. I can take a step back and play off the back of them um, and also encourage them to, to be voices in the team. It must have been a real kind of energy boost, enthusiasm boost when you start to think about this season and you saw some of the names that have been brought into this side. Yeah, crazy. Um, you know, we probably didn't, not to speak about last year, but we didn't finish on the terms that we wanted to and, um, you know, the club's done the, uh, the homework and, and the players that they've brought in and, you know, it's a really exciting time for the Rhinos. Um, we've got a good group of young kids that are pushing for places too um, and then just the, the icing on the cake to bring the, the older boys in and um, create a real good mix and you know a diverse team to, to express. Does it feel like a bit of a clean slate, a bit of a fresh start? Um, I won't necessarily say clean slate because we've done a lot of work you know leading up to this point um, like I've just spoke about the younger group of guys that are, that are pushing for spots um, I think you'll see the impact that Rowan's had um, over the last 18 months come um, you know come through this year. And there's obviously a lot of teams who recruited well it looks like it's going to be a bit of a dogfight to get into that top six initially and then further up the table but you must be quietly confident with the team that you've got together and building on what you've done with Rowan in the last year and a half that you're going to be right up there as well. Yeah definitely and you know I don't like to look too far ahead personally um, but I know there's no easy games and you know, you've got we've got to be at our best every week. Um, you know, we want to build Headingley into a fortress, and um, you know, we'll go from there. I don't want to say what where we're going to finish or what's going to happen. Um, I know it's really cliche to say, but I just want to take it, you know, a, a game at a time. And of course, every side wants to get to Wembley, but is that Challenge Cup something that you've kind of particularly circled around this year? Obviously, three games to get to that final, it feels very attainable. Yeah, it does, and. Um, you know, as a as a young kid that's been a student of the game for a long time, I understand that um, you know the history behind the Challenge Cup and how important it is. And um, I'd absolutely love to play at Wembley, and um, you know, I'll, I'll certainly be be looking out for them games. Obviously, as we touched on, your first year of captain. With that in mind, have you set yourself any individual goals, targets, anything that you want to tick off? No, not nothing, nothing individually. Um, you know, it's all it's all team based for me, and um, as long as I'm giving, you know decent performances and doing my bit for the team then um, I just want to be successful in, in that regard. Well best of luck this season mate. Thank you very much.